My name is Jonathan Parks, and welcome to Jonathan's Nature Craft. I must inform you that I do not live in this house by myself, but live here with other people. Sometimes other members of the household may have to walk through areas where I might be recording with other family members on the phone. If you hear any noise like that, please feel free to disregard. We are doing our best to get noise-canceling equipment, which may at least keep you from hearing exactly what is being said. Thank you for considering. Okay, so as you've seen in some of my past videos, sometimes whenever I finish carving and sanding these dogs like I've been working on them in my Woodcarver's Guild meetings. It's kind of one of those things where at the end I just start kind of adding details with the paints and the little Dremel tools and the wood burners and all. So that is where I'm coming right now and probably will say that I've got this little thing here, this printout of this picture that I showed on social media before whenever I finished the first one of these. It kind of helps me remember the ways that I painted it. There were only three colors of paint that were used, and that was the um, black, the white, and the gray. We've kind of got some different containers now because some of those containers were just getting old and useless and some of the paint was just drying out too much. I'd had it for 20 years, so couldn't really continue to take it. So that's where work is coming along now. Things might be coming out a little bit different when we come down to what we're doing, but I say, I say that there comes this moment when we're probably going to start out a little bit with the white paint and try to take a little time to, you know, just um, sort of paint these hind feet of the collie dog. Try to take care of a little color in what we have and what we do. I say this is just one little step we take just to make it so dog turns out just fine. You know, I sort of have my own little individual ways of carving certain things and how they come out comes out so good and to think about collie dogs I tell you we knew a lady growing up and she had a collie dog and it was just a real gentle quiet and calm collie dog but as a kid you know I mean I just had little sensory issues like I still have now kind of had my fears of dogs as a kid and you know sometimes that little collie of hers it, it it was a grown dog though and you know but she'd come up to me when I wasn't looking and kind of come close and when I saw her come up from behind I'd get a little startled and this lady we knew who owned the dog said now Jonathan she's a good dog so sometimes just sometimes it was always hard to tell I mean you know we kind of talked about dogs the other day and how when I was a kid it was like there were only certain dogs I knew as a kid and you know and I'd say you know you all probably didn't know some of the same dogs I knew when I was little but I mean you know I had some relatives who had a Yorkshire Terrier who just wasn't used to children so she was kind of a mean and biting type of dog and we were told to stay away from her and my grandmother had a next-door neighbor who had a Doberman Pinscher that was kind of a mean dog that we were told not to play with and heard that she bit some people in the neighborhood more recently and that's what was what their concern was but 
I say just so happened I reached a certain age where when I was about 15 I saw the innocence in one dog and decided to get over my fear for that one it was just kind of the adventure I took learning to kind of deal with them a little better and I say I say that there were certain fears I hoped I'd get over one day and eventually I did it just I'd say worked out so fine for me you know sometimes just sometimes little fears happen had an aunt growing up I mean even at the time in my life when I was still afraid of dogs and including that little Labrador dog that she had she always said to me because you know I wasn't afraid of reptiles things like snakes and lizards but she was and one time she said to me oh I don't see how you can be so afraid of cats and dogs but not be afraid of those slimy creepy reptiles like snakes and lizards all kind of has to do with I guess what we're used to being around sometimes what we're used to having in our lives and I say yes for those little creatures they were probably just not so much the type that had so much conflict with my sensory issues you know the fact that dogs are as friendly as they are all the things they do just out of their friendliness were things that I'd say just kind of conflicted with my sensory issues as a kid but you know it's <coughs> just among those things where we grow a little older get a little wiser sometimes we learn some of them a little better but there have been times when there have been some strange dogs some dogs I didn't know and sometimes if I didn't know whether they were friendly or not and when I got to be an adult I sometimes didn't know whether they might have been a guard dog and there to protect property or something like that but I'd say that there were always these lessons to learn so I'd tell you that we got one little side here painted with the white and got a little ways to go just a little further till we meet the end I'd say there was a little pink on the ears of this other one but with this one I'd say the ears kind of came out a little differently and maybe kind of need to be forward instead of sideways I sometimes forgot how I carved things the first time I made them but little things can kind of just turn out little ways they will and I'd say that we can close this paint up come back on and do a little more later just little steps to take as we go along and how we finish them up will always be for the best well I say for this moment we kind of get back on with a little more work to do and this time around we're going to take care of the white on the other side of the collie and try to just get just the right kind of work done into it and make it come just right out like it ought to need to be and so kind of like um do the work as it shall just make itself come along I say I say there's just some work involved in this where we're going to work around these little issues about the paint and the wood and come along where we're going to kind of make the little fur colors just the really come out just the way they really do and in this life make a little 
work be profitable to make our way about what we do, what we have. I say this is just kind of the way a little thing shall come about when we do the things comes about to this and I tell y'all that this is where you'll see a little white paint come along we have to kind of get about this and I know for a moment I forgot to turn the camera where it needed to be but I say for this little moment it's just how this is turning out for the better all this talking in circles gets to be a thing when you get to be as busy as I've been lately and I tell y'all that sometimes even an extra coat or two kind of helps you a little bit as you work your way along I say come along and see what this work is making itself to be I say come along this way it's like we're getting to the other side here probably gotta see if we can make the lines so they ought to be where they ought to be where they need to be I say that um this is just how it's making a way in the little artistic world. I tell you, there are industries in life that can be a little hard to get into sometimes, but we make our way about it. I could tell you all, all about the dogs I talked about in the earlier part of this video and all the little things I learned from the different ones of them sometimes they're just ones that are made from different breeds and crossbred and hybrid and I say that we kinda got the sides a little uneven here with the white paint but there's a little correction that I say can surely be made right here to make it come out just as good as it ought to be for one little project after another after another I say just work our way about the things we have and need to do and there's probably going to be another little video to come on where I'm probably going to come back and use a different color for a different part of the fur and I say just to kind of make things right and straight as they all ought to be and good to be and work for I say that this is just one of the things I'm hoping that it can bring more followers around. <coughs> There's just kind of some things where we'll just have what it all comes down to being when we see how collies are turning out, all the good for the better. I mean, how about we all just see how this is, see how this goes. Um, and by the way, we get down to where we're seeing what it's going to come right out to seem like. Got a little tired there because... I was doing a little googling just now trying to find out 
random information and I will say that this has been a great time just to come on and share a little good work for now and then and I say that there's probably going to be plenty more to say as we go along kind of made two parts to this video but the next part for the next couple of colors might be its own videos for that and I just wanted to say that I enjoy my work I appreciate my work and appreciate those of you who come on to see thank you very much thank you for watching hope you enjoyed the video and if you haven't already please subscribe to this channel. I hope to see you in the next video. Stay tuned.